Hi, this is Mark Gaylor, Adobe Photoshop Ambassador for the Asia Pacific region here. And we're going to discuss or uh, feature my top 20 all time favorite uh, tips and techniques for when working in Photoshop CC. Okay, uh, top tip number 18, we're going to be looking at advanced blending. Okay, now in advanced blending, it's a way of rendering um, pixels transparent on a layer based on their tone or color. And that's the way we're getting these fluffy white clouds appearing as if they're floating in front of the text. Okay, so let's just uh, simplify this um, composition a little bit by removing some of the elements. Okay, and I'll just remove that down to the uh, text and the sky on this layer here. Now I'm just going to uh, duplicate this and then I'm going to uh, push it up onto uh, above there. Now it's uh, formed a clipping group which I didn't want so I'm going to hold down the option key and unclip that layer. So now it's just sitting as a 100% opaque layer uh, not clipped to the text below. Now um, when we're using advanced blending um, we need to double click on the layer to bring up this rather large layer style dialog and we need to cast our attention all of the way down to the bottom to the blend if. Now this is where we can render pixels transparent based on their tone value if we have grey selected or on their color value if we select one of these three colors. I'm going to be selecting on the, based on the tone and then I'm just going to click and drag to render the darker pixels transparent. Now you'll see the text appearing. Um, we're up to level 168. Now if I zoom in you're going to see that at the moment it's not very subtle. Um, we're getting those uh, blocky pixels appearing. I've zoomed into 300% here. Um, but you see that it's an all or nothing. There's nothing fluffy about these uh, uh, clouds. They look like they've come out of Minecraft or something. Um, but if we zoom in on the little slider itself, I'll just zoom in on my screen so you can see it. There is a little white line that runs down this slider. Uh, I'll zoom back out um, because uh, once you know that this slider can be split uh, you'll never forget is to hold down the option key and then click in order to drag the right hand side of that slider uh, out and further up to the white point. Now what we're doing is we're rendering the clouds uh, or the transition between opaque and transparent a much more gradual affair and now we get the idea that this is or these are clouds floating both above and behind um, the graphic there. I'll just uh, zoom out uh, so we can see that uh, effect uh, taking place there. Once I click OK you can see that we have a little icon appear on the layer um, showing me that uh, um, blending has taking place or advanced blending. Okay, so otherwise we might not know what is actually happening because this layer is uh, listed as being 100% opacity. So this little icon is quite important to let us know there is something else at play in this composite file.